Are you shipping relief supplies to Dominica? If you are, consider using five gallon, that's 20 liters, food grade containers. These buckets can be bought at Walmart or Home Depot. You can put your supplies in them. They won't get wet because they have a lid on them. So in transit, they'll be fine. Once they get there, community members can actually use them for water collection, water treatment, and water storage. Depending on your water source, your water may need different types of treatment. If it's pretty turbid, that's really murky looking, it might need to settle first, and then you may need to filter it. So collect it in one bucket, let it settle, put a t-shirt over your next bucket, call that your clean, clean bucket, and then slowly filter through there. For the stuff that's left in the clean bucket, now your filtered water, that's the one that you need to treat a little further. You need to disinfect it. So for some, that might mean boiling for at least a minute. There are no mountains in Dominica higher than 5,000 feet, so a minute should be just fine. You may either have access to Aquatab tablets, therefore you can add those to your 20 liter container, or you can use bleach. Now it's really important that the bucket that has been disinfected, you don't want to put a cup in it, or you don't want to put your hand in it. You actually want to actually either pour out of it or have something like a spigot or something that allows you to get water from the bottom of it. You don't want to contaminate that water. While our expertise may be in wash, water, sanitation, and hygiene, uh, we're actually hoping that a lot of people will come out from the business sector, um, folks who can create apps, anyone who has an expertise or has a specialty in um, making the use of resources efficient, um, and maybe people who are already working in the Caribbean. So we'll be at the College of Engineering at USF this Thursday, uh, September 28th at 7 p.m. Please join.